this is Liz. Welcome to Fabric Friday. Finishing the Dresden plate. I've got it on the 12 and a half inch square which is the same size as my other patchwork squares but I obviously want to do the, the center of it now. What I like to do when I'm making these is get the fabric that I'm going to be using for the center which is the green and get some iron-on interfacing so that the the bobbly glue side is next to your fabric return yeah next to your fabric but don't iron it on get something round in my case I've got a part use glue roll and do round it on there and I don't think the camera will pick it up but it's about just over a quarter of an inch bigger than the circle now that isn't allowing me a lot of wiggle room so I'm going to be sewing it just a fraction the other side so it will be slightly easier for me but get your fabric put it down you want the if there's a right side you want the right side to be facing this bubbly glue side of the interfacing don't iron it on don't press it on and just sew all the way around so I've sewn round and you can see it on the back so all you do now is get your scissors and cut it cut the cut, cut the circle leaving about a quarter inch the seam allowance it doesn't have to be neat it doesn't have to be anything I'm actually going to about an eighth of an inch, I think. turn it so you've got the interface side and pull it's a bit on the fiddly side pull it away from the fabric because you don't want to nick that fabric at all and then you just cut a bit of a hole in the interfacing just enough to turn it It's hard for me to do this, my hand shakes too much. Make it a bit bigger. Yeah, I have to support my arm to stop my hand shaking as much. It's what the stroke left behind, the stroke I had when I was 20, all those years ago. And it's just a matter of breaking it around. If you clip, you cut the um, seam allowance, it might turn easier, but that is now ready to press onto there. So get your 
Oh yeah. Yes, this needs a bit of a pressing. I'm going to give it a bit of starch as well. Just so it's nice and crisp. When the iron burst goes on, it can sometimes scorch the fabric. So I always put this pressing mat down, and you can see it's all scorch stained. But this that I've got on it is just some sort of wool type of fabric uh, that was sent through in one of the remnant packs so I thought it's a bit on the bright side but it'll do all right for a um, pressing board right now it's nice and just fold it in half make a little crease Fold it in half again, another little crease. This is going to be under that circle anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's a really hard crease in it. And then that tells you the centre. Now, if you get your dressing ring, choose one that you want as the centre top or whatever and I'm going for yellow so I'm putting the yellow at the middle there um, so the rust colour is the opposite one make sure that's level and that's level so that's where I want the dressing plate to be. Just give it a nice press. And that to me looks more or less central. Then put your circle that you've made with the interfacing down. I'm covering it up just in case there's any bits of interfacing that are going to stick to my iron. No, there isn't, or it would have stuck to the pressing mat. But there it is now on it. So what I'm going to do now is choose the thread colour I want to stitch these down and I'm going to stitch the green down as well. I've changed the thread on my machine and I've now set up the stitches that I want of the size I want always practice first I mean, you can see possibly here I've tried it out on different stitch size to just see how it goes so I'm first of all going to stitch down the Dresden I'm not going to start um, in a corner or on the edge let's start it there I think because you want this to really look nice take that pin out before I get to it 
because I've got pins holding it down to the fabric. Right, I just drop the needle and that's how I want it. So let's go for it now. And I just heard the bobbins clicked funny. So as soon as you hear something awkward with your machine, just pull your work out and look at it rather than trying to carry on and it really making a mess. I only did a couple of stitches so it's easy enough to find your unpicker. Well not unpicker, stitch ripper, whatever underneath the stitches, rip them and pull them out. That's it, they're all out. I think it was because I wasn't holding my ends. So, I'll make sure I do this time. And there me ends. Put me weight back on there. Me foot down. I think that's where it's going to go. Drop the needle. Back up again. That's it. to the very corner and come out again. And I'll go all the way around it. I don't know if the camera will make this out. I've gone round that. And then what I will do is change my thread and go round here. But I'll show you as I'm going. Right, I've done all the way around the outside. I'm now going to, to do the inside in a ring. So for that, especially with uh, how my machine went because I wasn't holding the threads, I'm going to pull my bottom thread up. I've still got it on this blanket stitch. So to pull your bottom thread up, it's very easy. Just drop your needle down, either by your needle up, needle down button, or by turning the hand wheel your foot up and you can see your thread underneath which in my case is white put your foot back where it was Okay. 
pick that first stitch because the white is showing and just follow around more, more awkward on a circle but just keep touching it if you haven't got any left just keep the left of it slightly with your hand go nice and slow to this where I started more or less back around to it I'm going to pull that big white stitch and see if I can get it out that's got rid of the white and I shall just go over that and that'll cover my stitches the start and the end Do you want me bobbing being funny? Yep. That was me bobbing being funny. I told you to take it out, didn't I? I'm going to sort this out now. just sorted that out and it was me top thread had broke and I don't know where it had broken off but the end of it tied itself completely around my bobbing case um, so I had to totally dismantle it and uh, while it was dismantled I gave it a clean out and put it back together and finished off around it now when I looked at the back because I've got green thread on the top and white on the back when I looked on the back there was a lot of green thread showing so I thought ah my tension's off I aren't going to alter this because the white doesn't show through but I thought my tension was off so I got this scrap bit that I've been testing out and I sewed put it on straight stitch and sewed a line a green top stitch and white on the bottom but there's no green at all showing through and so I know my tension is fine it's obviously for just that stitch but Oh, Bob, that's all the stitching uh, that's going to happen because this is now done and I can sew it in. So, easy how you get it to fix on and it looks really nice. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>